cohabitation agreements. What is it? Well, it is a written agreement between two people who are not married, who are agreeing on the rights and responsibilities of each of them as roommates. And what will happen if the relationship breaks up or if one of them unexpectedly dies? You see, there are more and more cases these days where somebody files for divorce and the other side says, what do you mean? We were never married. We can't get divorced. And one party's claiming a common law marriage and the other party's saying, no, we never ever intended to be married. And then you have a big court battle just over that issue of were you ever even common law married? Or you have a person who passes away and their roommate is now claiming to be a spouse because they want half the community property and the right to continue living in the house. But the heirs are saying, no, you're an unmarried roommate you have no rights whatsoever and they want to evict you because they want to sell the house and all the property goes to the heirs instead of to the survivor so it's important to put down in writing exactly what your relationship is and how you're going to divide things up if the relationship breaks up and how you're going to divide up debts and assets, how you're going to pay for things while you're together, and whether you're going to agree to mediation. There are a lot of issues that an attorney can go through and discuss with you that you may not have even ever thought about talking about before. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm a family law attorney in San Antonio, Texas, and I have been helping people get through divorce and through various family law issues since 1987. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel.